Heirlooms are the rarest items in Apex Legends. Many people think you just get a special melee weapon and that's it, but there is so much more to them, from rare animations to special voice lines when you kill players with an heirloom. I'm going to showcase all of the secret animations, voice lines and other special features for every single heirloom. Think of this video as a place to help you make your decision on what heirloom to get if you're lucky enough to get heirloom shards. We'll of course start with Revenant, but first I just want to give a quick shout out to my wife's channel. Today she posted a video on how to make a recipe for what we think Octane may eat from Apex Legends. Go check it out and suggest another legend you'd like us to make a recipe for. Alright, onto the heirlooms. Up first is of course Revenant's heirloom. I'll play the inspect animations and let the sound play first. There are a few different inspect animations that are kind of being shown right now. And what I really like about the inspect animations is they're all pretty detailed. They're not like super crazy like say the Octane one or the Pathfinder one. But they really showcase the details of the heirloom and just how it's built. And I think that... He did a really good job to showcase it despite it being so large and my, one of my worries was that half of it would be off the screen most of the time. So I've got to say the angles, the animations are just perfect. It's really such a beautiful sinister looking heirloom that's for sure. Next up we have the draw animations. Now there's the initial one that happens every time you land down on the ground for the first time. For example if you get respawn, that's the first time you're sort of playing that game. And then there's a bunch of different draw animations that can happen throughout the game. They all seem to be once again equal rarity but there are some pretty cool ones like the summon one and the one where you can see it sort of like being packed open. Really, really cool. And then there's a bunch of different melee animations. Now, there's not a bunch of super rare ones, but there is a couple different animations for each stunt. So you've got sprinting, jumping, sliding, standing still. There's the most animations for whilst just standing still. Now, another thing I really like about this heirloom is just the effects that play when you hit people. It just feels, something about it just feels like some really cool sort of action RPG. It really adds to the style of Revenant and this sort of dark character that he, uh, you know, tries to portray himself as. And those effects can also be seen really clearly in the third person model here. Now, another thing you'll notice here is that the third person animations are unique for Revenant. That's actually pretty rare. A lot of the heirlooms kind of share the same third person animations because, I mean, obviously they only have a certain amount of time to develop these things and the first person animations are the most important, but Revenant's third person animations are so menacing like when you see like a revenant coming at you with this thing it is spooky it really just fits so well the way the uh, blade glows in the dark as well and we have the different effects going off too and then of course we have this very rare hand blade melee animation now let's play the voice lines the kill voice lines ah, spilled blood the real pleasure's in their reaction. I enjoyed every moment of that. I like the way they scream. I call that my kiss of death. Death becomes me. <laughs> Now up next we have Bangalore's Heirloom. Now the model for this is pretty cool, it's a pretty cool looking blade for sure, but the animations are a bit lackluster. You can see the initial draw animation and a few of the different draw animations playing now in the background. And as for inspect animations, there are just two inspect animations, they're not super crazy, they're pretty detailed, but not super crazy. And you know, this thing does feel pretty good to handle at least, when you're running around it feels pretty good to just twirl in your hand if you inspect whilst running, so that's nice. There are a few different melee animations too. There is one rare animation which I'll show in a minute. And the crouching animation on the thing, as you saw earlier, looks pretty cool. But overall, I think this is probably where they've missed the ball a little bit. Like, the animations on this thing aren't too amazing. You kind of expect each heirloom to be, you know, at least on par with the heirloom before it. But this one, animation-wise, is a little lackluster, i got to say. But at least it's a nice design. Another thing that I kind of have to say about this one is that a lot of the heirlooms have some pretty cool effects that play when you hit somebody and it really adds to the character to the heirloom more than you might think. For example, Caustic has gas, Revenant has the really cool shadow effect which we saw a minute ago. Bangalore's effect is pretty simple, it's sort of this impulse effect when you hit someone. Like, it's nice that there is an effect but 
I don't know, it just doesn't really feel very fitting with the blade. I don't know, there's nothing unique about it. Like, even Gibraltar's, which, you know, considering where he's from and his ethnicity, it fits very well, this sort of fiery volcanic theme. Like, that works well. I think Bangalore's, uh, it would be nice if it had a bit more flair to it, a bit more work to the animations. But at the end of the day, we are comparing heirlooms amongst each other. Like, the Bangalore heirloom itself is still really cool, but we can't, you know, put it alongside Revenant, which is amazing. Now let's play the kill line. That's the sound of victory. Ready for bear. I came to party. I like getting my hands dirty. Before we move on to Gibraltar, here are two rare Bangalore heirlooms that they did add, which are pretty cool. Now it's time for Gibraltar. Now I've got to say, Gibby's heirloom is the dark horse for me, because it's the one that kind of gets the least appreciation, but there's so much detail that goes into it. Right now we're taking a look at a bunch of the different draw animations. There are a bunch, and there's even a rare one which we'll play later. Now besides that, there's also the inspect animations, and they are so fitting for Gibraltar's character. Here we have this one which is a nice little look at the blade and the axe itself which is really cool. I wish there were more animations like this. Very simple but you get a good look at the actual weapon which is nice. And then we have this one which is just it's amazing. We get to get finally a nice look at Gibraltar's shield because every legendary skin has a different shield and I, I think this is just such a nice little addition that really suits Gibraltar. And then of course we have this which is very fitting for Gibraltar and his origins. So just amazing stuff there. Now we've got the different melee animations. Now there are a bunch of different ones. So once again, a lot of detail has gone into this. You can't go too crazy with melee animations, but you know, there is variety and the fire effect looks so cool, even in first person. But I have to say the third person effect is even cooler. Here we are seeing some more of the different animations playing. You can really see the fire effect here and how many varieties of animations there really are for this character. And finally, we got third person. So you can see the flame effect in action here. I love the way it sort of just like spills over across the blade. I don't know, that's just so neat. Let's jump into the kill clips. Boom! Not too bad with this thing. Down you go. I make my brothers proud. Oh, I love this thing. Gibraltar also has some rare melee animations. First, we're going to take a look at this one here, where he has the double blade. This is the blade that we see in his banner frame. Pretty cool stuff. Up next, we have Caustic. Now, Caustic's death hammer is an interesting one. It, it, it fits the kind of, like... It fits Caustic's personality well, you know, he's cruel, he's menacing, uh, but he's a little goofy, he's not really as sinister as Revenant, so it's very fitting. You can see the draw animations playing here, there is another rare one where a spider appears on it as well. Now we've also got these inspect animations, the one where he drinks from his coffee mug is questionable, I don't know how he drinks it, but you know, it's a nice little quirky addition. Then we've got the one where he sort of changes the canister, adds new gas, and there's a few different animations here where he takes a look at the skull. There's the normal one, the sort of one where the eyes brighten up, and then there's one where a spider appears on top. So it's it's like, it's an introspective look at Caustic, because Caustic is, on the surface, very sociopathic and, and looking mean and sinister, but there's something kind of goofy about him. He's still sort of just like that lab scientist, you know. It kind of portrays well in the hammer itself. Now, the hammer animations are heavy. They feel heavy. They feel like a hammer should, and I think that is perfect. And I really like the way the gas kind of comes out as you hit people. I like the way he can, like, pump it up with one of his animations It just and, and gas pours out. It's such a cool little effect, right? Obviously, the animations feel pretty clunky, which is what you want, and it sounds clunky as well. And the third person animations also have a similar effect. You get to see that gas really coming out. If you get hit by this, you're just going to be, you know, you're going to be overwhelmed by gas, and I think that's just caustic in a nutshell. He's, he's like, he, he's a bit of a sinister character, but really he's just goofy. He's just goofy, and you got to love that. Here are his kill lines. Any thrill I may appear to have is purely scientific. Note to self, extrapolate damage output data. Need subjects, living. Even I have to admit that one was just for fun. I'm beginning to enjoy this. I was just talking about how goofy Caustic is, but the real king of goof has to be Mirage. And Mirage's heirloom isn't even really a weapon, but despite that, it has some of the most sort of extensive details in an heirloom yet. And we're gonna go into detail. 
these animations that play have a bunch of different sounds there's audio there's voice lines a bunch of different variety of voice lines that both the statue and mirage say now there's only two different animations that play when you inspect this thing but the number of different voice lines and sounds that play from it really adds to the experience and it's very unique you don't really see that from the other heirlooms there's so much of mirage's character that goes into this heirloom that you know it's not just the statue itself there's so much more the hit animations, the melee animations are pretty simple. You basically just wax people around the head with it. I mean, what more can you do with a statue like this? Now, there are a couple very rare melee animations, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first, let's talk about the actual voice lines that play when you hit people. The statue plays voice lines when you hit people, which I think is just absolutely hilarious. Now, third-person animations are pretty much just borrowed from Bloodhound. A lot of heirlooms do this. They just take the same third-person animation. Now, let's play the kill lines. Whoa! Oh, man, that was amazing. <laughs> I think I'm hyper, hyper but I think I'm hyper <sighs> I've had a really good time here. Oh, yeah. My biggest fan's gonna love that. Mom. <laughs> guns? Who needs guns? I don't need guns. Oh, sorry. Looks like I didn't know my own strength. Sorry. Now let's talk about the secret features. We've got this one, which isn't too rare, and then we've got the legendary pork chop thwack, which is super rare. Now how about this feature? Mirage's goggles actually go down when you own the heirloom and have it equipped. That's really neat. The decoy also holds the heirloom, but strangely enough, when you use Mirage's ultimate and you already have a weapon equipped, when you go to equip the heirloom, it doesn't actually use the heirloom, and this could potentially get you killed, because people are going to know it's you if they're smart enough and they know about this little, I guess you could call it a bug. Now we're on to Octane. Now Octane is actually one of the simplest heirlooms in the game. He has a very, very long-winded animation. There's only one of them, though. We're playing the animation now. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But the only issue is you're probably going to play this like once or twice, and then you're going to be moving on. The actual animations that play whilst you're sprinting and inspecting are really bad. They look so goofy. Like, what is happening here? Something else should be happening. There's actually a animation that plays when you first start sprinting. But for some reason, that doesn't play when you tap the inspect animation I don't know why the melee animations are pretty standard they're not really that great he just slashes you or stabs you with it nothing too fancy the animations in third person are a little bit unique there's one worse he's stimming you can also see this same one in first person but everything else once again is borrowed from bloodhound <laughs> they thought they could get the jump on me? Whoa, how many likes will that get? <laughs> Increíble. Piernas, tienes mi corazón. <laughs> Incredible. Amo estas piernas. Up next, we have Pathfinder. Now, Pathfinder and Octane are pretty similar. They have a very long-winded animation. That only one animation, though, and they don't have any draw animations. Neither of them have draw animations. Now think about this. A lot of the newer heirlooms have like five, six, seven unique draw animations. So it's a bit of a shame. It is a bit of a shame. Like, once again, how many times are you going to actually do this in the game? Now, that's about it. There's no other features on this heirloom. The face turns into a little love heart face when you sprint. You can sort of shake them around by crouch spamming, which is pretty cool. And thankfully, there are quite a few different melee animations, some rarer than others, and you'll see those later. And the third person animations this time are unique. So, you know, that's always nice, but it's definitely lacking some of those more sort of rarer animations. No draw animations kind of sucks, but either way, it, it's not too bad. You're a bum, friend. Oh boy, right in the eye of the tiger. I could have been a contender. And I am. Do you like my new toys? Now here we have the rare Pathfinder animations. There's this one and a double punch version of this one. And then the double slap. So nice little touch for sure. Up next, we have Lifeline's Heirloom. Now, Lifeline's Heirloom is an example of how effects and good, well-rounded animations can sometimes be better than a bunch of animations. This is the draw animation here, the initial one. And then just one simple draw animation after that. And that's it. And then you have a very long-winded inspect animation. And besides that, there aren't any more draw or inspect animations. However, when you sprint and inspect, you have a very clean sort of flip. She flips the stick 
back and forth and you can just repeat it. It's not quite as clean as the kunai flip, which we'll get to in a minute, but it is pretty nice. Now, the reason why I personally like this heirloom a lot is because it has some very cool effects. When you hit people, it sounds like a lightsaber. I mean, if you like lightsabers, you're gonna like this. It, fa it just feels so good to use. It's so satisfying. It's so good to twirl around. The melee animations are really, really neat. And as you'll see in a second, the third person melee animation are also unique, which is rare. Once again, you don't see many legends with uh, unique melee animations in third person. <laughs> you gotta love Lifeline, she just jumps in the air and hits people like that, throwing the sticks in between her legs. I, I think that's absolutely hilarious. So let's now play the voice lines for Lifeline. You got flatlined. Now you're out of my way. So sorry. You're out of lifelines. This way is faster. Feel that rhythm drop. Kill the beat. Up next we have Bloodhound. Now keep in mind this was the second LM to ever release, so it is very simple. We have one initial draw animation, and then another draw animation, and that's it for draw animations. And then you have a very simple inspect animation. Bloodhound takes a good look at the blade, kind of has a little look at all the little charms on it, and then that's it. The blade itself is pretty cool. Once again, it has a nice little twirl animation if you inspect whilst running, and a few different melee animations. But besides that, that's all there is to Bloodhound's heirloom. There's one extra feature though. When you hit people, there's this sort of red spark effect. I, I guess it fits the sort of Bloodhound uh, ultimate effect, right? The, the color of Bloodhound's eyes, so that's a nice touch. And that comes from the blade itself. Let's now play the voice lines. I grace the old father, Odin bear witness, Valhalla awaits us both. Hrafin's beta, bring me glory. Raven's bite, bring me glory. Finally, we have Wraith's heirloom. Now, this is, in many people's opinions, the best heirloom, which is quite strange because it just has one initial draw animation and then a very simple draw animation besides that. And the inspect animation is the simplest we've seen in the game. And it only has one melee animation for each stance. And that's it. So what's so special about it? Well, the fact of the matter is the animations are very clean and you can twirl it around. You just walk forward and back and it does this twirl or you can sprint and keep tapping the inspect animation and it's just so satisfying. I mean, it's as simple as that. Sometimes simplicity is best and this is the perfect example of it. One extra nice little feature though is that when you hit people, it creates mini portals and the sound is really satisfying as well. It's just well-rounded, nothing too complex. It's just clean, right? It's just clean. And that brings us to the end of the heirlooms. We'll play Rafe's kill lines first, and then we'll say goodbye. I play the hand I'm dealt. All you need is all you have. That one's for you. Freedom's what you take. That's a clean cut. Swift, strong, simple. All right, friends, thanks for watching. I hope you like this. What's your favorite heirloom? Let me know. Cheerio!